Well, one of the many forms of workshops that take place here at Wesus 2015 is, uh, takes the form of a country workshop and participating in the country workshop uh, this year, one of them was Iran. Now from Iran, I have Ahmad Bedabadi. He is the uh, chairman of the board from DP Company. Mr. Bedabadi, hello. Hello. Thank you for coming in today. Now, let's talk about some of the issues that Iran has to deal with, like uh, all countries in, in rolling out IT and, uh, and communications technology. You're involved in e-government, uh, e-procurement. You're also helping uh, roll out broadband to the citizens and businesses of Iran. What's the state of play at the moment? How many people do already have access? Okay, thank you very much uh, for me to give me this opportunity to be here. Uh, regarding the broadband, uh, the plan for Iran government is uh, to actually make the, with the next five per years plan, uh, accessibility for everybody. At this moment, we have uh, actually two category. About eight and a half million people have uh, broadband access over a fixed line. And since 3G and 4G also has been launched uh, from the last year, around 16 million people also getting broadband over 3G and 4G. Okay. So the plan is here, even the next year plan is to expand almost all major city to be covered by 3G and 4G, which means everybody can access through for broadband through the 3G, 4G. But at the same time, the plan is to have 20 million people access over a fixed line. So at this moment, we have about eight and a half million. So the, uh, the plan is uh, within the next five years uh, to bring as many as 20 million fixed line access for the ADSL. Okay. So there's, there's a way to go and you're involved in, in uh, rolling this out. What are the big challenges? Iran's a big country, you have some remote areas. Is it infrastructure, is that the issue? Uh, yes, uh, the, there are a few challenges actually. One of the challenges, as you mentioned, Iran is very big and there are many city and different places to bring the connection is really the, one of the barrier is the cost, infrastructure cost. So of course government has a policy to help to actually subsidize some of these costs to private company to bring uh, the connectivity to you know to a rural area because this is not will be a, as far as the private company will be cost beneficial. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is one of the barrier. Another barrier is you know since Iran has been privatized from seven eight years ago. Uh, we don't still we have uh, not well defined regulation, so this is another barrier. Of course, our regulatory has been improved, but still we have a challenges in regulation. How we work with different operator? These are another challenges we are okay, in. So this is the the multi stakeholder question yes, that comes that's in. Right. And it, it, the issue there is clarity. You're not sure who owns the 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 um, the licenses. Or what, what do you mean by regulation? What are the okay, issues? Uh, no, uh, the government. For example, our company. Uh, we are one of the broad, broadband operator, which get the license. But you know, the backbone company is governmental. So based on our constitution, cannot be privatized. So that's a stay. So the, the definition between different operators working together and with the governmental organization uh, is not well defined yet. So we have some problem there. So the interpretation is different. So we need again more stronger. Uh, regulatory. Of course, there have there have been lots of improvement, mm -hmm. especially the last two years, because of the new policy of government. Because the, this new government has been really expanding, and they believe on bringing uh, the access to internet to everybody. This so is that you plan. think they understand how important this is? That's right. Now that that population, that that target of 20 million, how likely do you think that is? Will you get there? I think within the next five years, yes, we'll get that even sooner because Iran has, you can say, we have a young population. We have around 77 million people, which is half of them, it's under 25. So that means uh, people are eager and it's very easily, whatever, you know, application come, immediately people use it where there is internet access, so you don't believe it. For example, from last September, which the 3G and 4G was launched, uh, even the operator would not believe that people really will be using that much. Because when they ask him how much backbone they, they need, they 
told you know the backbone company we need one fifth of that but the actuality came that the demand was five times higher okay so that means if you bring accessibility for the people people use it because we have young population you can say over 75 percent of people have knowledge of using ict that's another good point of it so that means uh, i can believe is a matter of investment. Okay, so, so people, they, people will, they want it, essentially. It's, the demand exactly. is there, so it's a matter of delivering. Well, Mr. Bida Badi, that's all we have time for today. I thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you very much for being here. Uh, give me an opportunity. Thank you very much.